Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for the U.S. indices and the tech stocks for Thursday, uh, November 12, 2020. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. We have a signal service over at Patreon. The link is down below. There are already over 60 traders trading on our platform and uh, you'll get the full access to our technical analysis for the commodities market as well. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we are trading in the lows here of 3,200 and uh, 3,600. We are at the top of the range. Uh, we pierced through this um, on, on, on Tuesday, uh, but fell again rallied yesterday but at this point i think it's just a matter of time before we fall back towards the 50 moving average um, i just don't see that we are going to go significantly higher at this point um, technical leaders aren't really there at this point but they are basically showing signs of weakness uh, we can just look at the stochastic it is almost crossing the signal line the cci is turning uh, to the downside looking very bearish at this point the rsi is flat but the macd has to turn around and cross the signal line we are at the top of the bullinger band so this should be technically a warning uh, that that we are expecting to fall in this market towards the 50 moving average around 3400 and should expect quite a lot of support there if that breaks then we'll go towards the 100 moving average at 3000 338 and then probably to the downside i don't expect that but i do expect um, us to fall towards the 50 moving average before going higher so if you look at the dow jones same thing here we rallied uh, above these very highs here and uh, we pull back a little bit then we uh, we rallied again today and then pull back at this point it is very similar to the S&P 100. I do expect a pullback towards the 50 moving average, filling the gap here. And uh, at this point, we are trading within 29,000 and 26,000. Technical indicators are turning around. You can see the CCI is turning around, the, the RSI is turning around. We are at the very top of the Bollinger Band, but the stochastic and the MACD have not turned around yet but it is only a matter of time this was mainly due to the uh, announcement of the vaccine and also um yes basically the pronunciation of the product vaccine is basically the main reason for this major rally but that is not going to happen um, anytime soon so the market is going to settle back to where it was prior to that news and that is around this area here so no one just basically buying this at this point it's just too risky uh, a pullback towards the 50 moving average and then buying would be a far better deal so look at a nasdaq nasdaq continues to rally it is lagging a little bit uh, behind the other ind indices uh, mainly because it has been rallying ever since uh, all the way back here in, 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 in March. So at this point, we are trading uh, with the very lows of 10,600 or uh, 10,700 and the very highs of 12,500. Um, we we uh, pull back towards the 50 moving average, which is the same move that I expect the, the S&P and the Dow Jones to do and then rally from there. So our target at at this time is around 12,200 and after that to these very highs of 12,500. Um, technical indicators are looking mixed for the Nasdaq at this point. Stochastic is looking fairly negative. Um, we are bouncing off the 20 moving average here in the bullish bands and uh, the well, technically, the indicators are all over the place. So we look at the RSI, it's basically bullish. The same goes for the MACD, and the, the, R, the CCI is technically flat. So, But this should be a warning. Uh, if this starts to, to, um, to um, decline significantly, 
then we could see another pullback towards the 50 moving average. But as long as the 50 moving average is holding, everything should just be fine. It's basically another buying opportunity and just going higher and so on. Um, a break below the 50 moving average opens the door to the 100 at 11,200 and after that to the very lows. Um, if we break these very highs, then of course we go significantly higher. So one of the reasons why for this massive rally is because all of these major tech stocks had a fantastic day. They have been declining for, for two consecutive days and uh, today we basically saw them all rally. Uh, some of them are going to rally more uh, tomorrow or this session than others. So we look at Google. Google is basically at the top of range. So most likely it will fall. We can see we're way up here and it will most likely descend back towards the 20 exponential moving average and then the 50. If you look at Facebook, uh, we were basically touching the, we bounced off the 100 moving average and now we're heading back towards these very highs. So expect a rally from, from Facebook. If you look at Google, uh, no, Apple, I mean, sorry, we bounced from the 50 moving average. Now we're going to target the 125 move, uh, uh, price level. And if that breaks, then we go to the very highs. So don't expect this to fall anytime soon. Again, same goes for, the, uh, for Microsoft. We bounced from the 50 moving average and now we're going to target back the 225 uh, price level. If that breaks, then we'll go all the way to $233. Then we have Netflix, and this is probably the most promising one. Uh, we touched the very lows here on, on in yesterday's session. Now we're rallying again. We're probably going to find some resistance at the 50 moving average. If that breaks, then we are going to these very highs. So we've been trading in this range for, sorry, for quite some time, but at this point, we are going to go higher. Technical indicators for net for for Netflix are looking promising, and they are uh, they are going to turn around. We just need the stochastic to turn around here, and then we're going much higher. So this is basically one of the trades that I did make because I expect this to go significantly higher. Same goes for Amazon. We almost reached the bottom of this range and then rallied. If we break the 50 moving average, then we are going to 3,372 and then to these very highs. No interest based of, of selling this because we bounce from these very lows. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button down in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. So, good luck and thank you very much.